Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're going to cook a 30 day dry aged tomahawk steak. Here is Holy Grail Steak Company's tomahawk steak. It is 30 plus days dry age. This is upper prime black Angus, two and a half pounds. It is one mammoth steak. As you can see, it's thick. You can see that color, that dark red that's in there from that dry age. What I did last night is I put some kosher salt on it. So kosher salt for 24 hours to kind of do a dry brine. And now we're gonna put our seasoning on there. I'll show you what we're gonna use for that. The seasoning that I'm gonna be using is by Beard BQ. My buddy Felix owns his company. I've used some of his sauces before, some great stuff. This is a veteran owned company. Please be sure to check him out. Show more section below. I will leave the information. It's gluten free. This is a really great seasoning. Barbecue sauces, all of it, they're handmade. He does a really good job with this and he is very passionate about it. So please check him out. Let's go ahead and get the seasoning on there. And my binder today is going to be some garlic infused olive oil. Get this all the way around it. We're gonna season this up really well because this is a thick piece of meat so it can take it. All right, we've got it all seasoned up. We're gonna let this sweat out a little bit while we get the pit barrel up to temp, and I'll show you that right now. For those of you that have not seen how a pit barrel is started, this is the charcoal basket here. Now, what I did was I filled it up with charcoal level. I took 40 briquettes out, and I put it in the barbecue dragon chimney. And then I'm, so I'm using the barbecue dragon starter today. This is basically a fan you can, put into the chimney, start it up, and it lights this charcoal really, really fast. It gets it really hot. Ordinarily, if you didn't have this, it would take you about 15, 20 minutes to get those charcoals, the charcoal really, really hot and ready to dump in here. So once these are really good and hot, then we'll dump them in here. And then from there, we can let the pit barrel sit for about 20 minutes to get up to temp. Let me go ahead and show you this real quick. I went ahead and raised this up for you so you can see a little better angle. It's got a little turn knob on here. You just turn it. You can see instead of 15, 20 minutes, just a matter of two or three minutes or less, we could be ready to put these on the pit barrel. Our charcoal is good and hot now, so we're gonna dump this. Kinda take our charcoal and stir it around a little bit. and get it right there in that middle area. Put our rebar in, we're hanging. Put our top back on, we're gonna give it about 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll get our steak on. Pit barrel is ready. At my elevation, pit barrel runs around 275 to 300 as far as degree wise. Here's your quick tip. If you're hanging a tomahawk on the pit barrel cooker, if you'll drill a hole right through that bone, you can put your hook right in there and then you're ready to go. So we're gonna hang it right in here. We'll put our ink bird meat probe in here.
or top back home. And I'm looking for somewhere around 135 to 140. I don't want exactly medium rare. I want more of the medium. So we'll check it back in just a little bit. I'll let you know what it looks like. All right, it's been going for 45 minutes. The ink bird is saying it's, we're at 127 already. So let's take a look at this. Oh, look at that. Hopefully you can see that well. Oh my goodness. That color is awesome. I'm gonna go just a few more minutes. Again, I want mine a little bit more than medium rare. So we're looking at more around 135, maybe 140. So just a few more minutes. We'll take it off and I'll show you how it looks. We've been going about 15 more minutes. So we're gonna take this off. Oh my goodness. That is one beautiful looking steak. We're gonna take this off and let it rest under some foil for about five or 10 minutes. Here is the finished tomahawk. Look at the color on that. That is amazing. And the smell off that from that rub is golly i just can't put into words how good it smells and looks we're gonna go ahead and cut this right quick see if i can cut it off the bone first see if i can slide it right down there we go we're just going to cut right into it see if i can show you right quick Hopefully you can see it, the sun is kind of bad out here. And that's exactly where I want it. I want it more of the medium. I'm gonna cut into this bad boy. Of course, I wanna get a little bit of that fat to go along with it. It is so, so juicy. I know the lighting is not doing it justice, but that is a medium. Let's give it a try. Get another shot, look at that. That is some good looking beef right there. Oh my gosh, that 30 day plus dry age gives it that really nice beefy flavor. The rub that I used is not overpowering by Beard BQ. Oh my gosh, that is so, so good. So juicy, just so just tender. I just can't, I, I can't tell you how good that is. That is amazing, amazing beef right there. Holy Grail Steak Company. You guys are doing it right for sure. Check them out. Show more section below. The information for all that I use today. Go there and check out each one of these, these companies. They are all great to work with. Pit Barrel Cooker, 275 is what it usually runs around here. It took right about an hour, maybe an hour and five minutes to get where I wanted it at, to that medium. A lot of people like that medium rare. I'm more of the medium guy. Perfectly cooked, beautiful piece of steak. One thing I forgot to tell you is this new knife I got is by Shan Zhu. It's their GYO series or Gyro series. Damascus steel. This is a beautiful knife. Feels great in the hands. Check them out as well. Super sharp. Thank you so much again for being with us. If for some reason you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to us. We're on Roku, Instagram, Facebook. Check us out there, like us on there, follow us. Updates for the channel. Until next time, God bless.